Okay, this is 9-1, um, and since I wasn't there to teach it, I'm going to do our video. Um, Ty is reading a book about metamorphic rocks. He has read seven-tenths of the book. What decimal describes the part of the book that Ty has read? A decimal is a number with one or more digits on the right of the decimal point. You can write tenths and hundredths as a fraction or as decimals. So if you think in terms of money, you guys are used to writing something like um, $4.53. That decimal point is part of the decimal. This part of the to the right of the decimal is the fractional part of the number. So if you have 53 cents, it is really not a whole dollar, it's part of a whole dollar, kind of like fractions are part of a whole dollar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this seven tenths, we have a model, it's split into tenths here, and we would be shading seven of them. That's seven. And it would look like 0 0.7, which if you think again in terms of money, um, and you think of seven dimes, which would be seven tenths, because dimes are a represent a tenth, then um, you would have, it would look like, actually it would look like this, but that's a whole other story why that still works. But anyways, the seven would be in the tenths place. So if we look at a place value chart, we have our ones is on the left side of the, the decimal. We don't have any ones. If we look at this, there's it's not a mixed number. If it was a mixed number, we would have a whole number there. So we have none. We have seven tenths, and we don't have any hundreds. So we can put zero there. That's why it works when we do it this way. And it looks like 70 cents when it's a, when it's a dime, seven dimes. <clears throat> so you can write 0 0.70 or seven tenths, okay? Now looking at a number line, zero tenths is like having nothing, we have nothing, so it's 0, 0.0, one tenth or like one dime kind of, one, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. If we have three tenths, it would be 0 0.3, Four tenths would be, oops, be 0 0.4. Five tenths would be 0 0.5. I'm sure you guys got this by now. 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. And then when you have 10 tenths, we know that 10 tenths equals one whole. So then the one whole, go, the one goes on this side in the ones place. If you were looking at your place value chart up here, it would go here in the ones place. So again, 0 0.7 names the amount of 7 tenths, okay? If um, down here it says, how can you write 0 0.1 as a fraction? If I say that out loud, I call that 1 tenth. Again, look, looking up here at my place value chart, if I had a 1 here, it would be in the tenth spot. I would have 1 tenth. So just saying out, out loud, I know what I need to write, 1 tenth. Tara rode her bicycle one and six tenths mile. What decimal describes how far she rode her bike? You have already written a fraction as a decimal and you can also write a mixed number as a decimal. Okay, so having one and six tenths, we can shade one whole one, which would be this whole thing. It would look like that. And then I have six tenths, so I'm gonna shade six of these. My speaky voice. Six of those, okay? Now writing it, thinking how we write um, decimals, we would write on the one side, we have one whole number, and, kind of say and when we hit that decimal point, six tenths, and six tenths goes right there. They're not called ones, they're called tenths. There's a whole different reason, I mean a whole story behind that, but I'm not going to go into it right now. Read one, and it's called one and six tenths is how you read it. I'm going to go to the place value chart and put it in the place value chart. Again, I have one in the one, one whole number, so I'm going to put that in the ones column. I have six tenths and I have zero hundredths. Okay, 
I can write that like 1.60. I can also write it 1.6. They mean the same thing. So it doesn't matter. Um, again, I call that 1 and 6 tenths. <clears throat> Look down here at the um, at the number line. Remembering a number line can start and end in any increment you want, or in any um, from any point to any point. So we're starting this number line from one point zero to two point zero, one whole number to two whole numbers, and then we're taking the fraction. This is one and zero tenths, so that's zero on the fraction side. This would be one and one tenth. And if I've learned how to do my decimals already with place value, I just saying it out loud, I know how to write it. One and two tenths. One and three tenths. This is going to be one and four tenths, which would look like one and four tenths. Both, we say it the same, both, both as a fraction and a decimal. One and five tenths, then we'll be 1.5, one and five tenths. One and six tenths. 1 and 7 tenths, 1 and 8 tenths, there's a decimal point there, a big fat pen, and 1 and 9 tenths, 1.9, and then again we're at the 2 hole and 0 tenths which would give us 2.0. Um, so 1.6, 1 and 6 tenths names the amount 1 and 6 tenths. So she rode her, pen, her bike 1 and 6 tenths of a mile. Okay, it says down here, write one as a fraction and a decimal. Here's one as a fraction. It would look like ten tenths. Whoops. Ten tenths. I've shaded them all, so it's ten tenths. That goes right there. And then as a decimal, one is a whole number. And there's zero tenths. Just like if I was writing one dollar, it would look like that. So that's not that different. Okay, I think that's it. The rest are just examples of the same, same problems. So good luck.